Welcome everyone in another Cryengine tutorial video. This is part number two of in-game menu invent uh, in in-game menu tutorial, and uh, in this part we're gonna go to C++ and work with the C++ from you know in the last part we created the flash file and stuff like this, pretty much everything for it. So we're gonna go to C++ and um, yeah check this website as always check the design here you got all my tutorials over here you're gonna have more and more organized in the future so definitely keep in touch so um, yeah we're gonna go to our project as always plus plus tutorial solutions and then solution oh, I hope this is gonna be um, three parts like not not more than three parts hopefully um, let's wait for it to initialize oh yeah there's one other thing we have to do we have to go to our project because we did not export it to GFX in the previous video so I'm gonna, we're gonna we wanna go and do this so we're gonna we wanna open the engine itself. As always, you already know that if you haven't watched my previous videos, then go and do this. Obviously, uh, assets libraries UI, and we got our um, in-game menu SWF. Oh, sorry, not here. Find tools, GFX export SWF here. So we got GFX file now, and this is something that we will work on. So we want to open this XML file. No, sorry, not this. This one. We want to open our uh, in-game menu <coughs> XML because we're gonna use these names later, right? So we want to have it over here. So yeah, as you remember, my previous videos we've created some C++ mine menu and inventory system as well quite proud of it mm. so what we're going to do now we're going to you got mind menu events okay uh, uh, uh. where did we put all this stuff okay so now how when do we open our in-game menu we open open our in-game menu <coughs> when we press escape usually, right? So what we have to do, we have to go to assets, libraries, config, and create new action as always. You already know this, I covered that in separated video, so check the C++ basics, action maps, uh, if you don't know what I'm doing. So we want to go in here and create in-game menu. Yeah, it's enough. It's escape is called as. It's not like this. It's gonna be escape full name of the button. I'm not sure if a e s c is gonna work. Probably not. So escape. That's the right thing to do. Okay. Now we're going to C plus plus as always. Player input. You already know these actions. So I'm just gonna do it quickly without talking. Okay, we created an action in game menu. So what we want to do now, um, as you remember, with the inventory system, we created some variable that will be as some kind of switch for us, right? So we want to go once again in here, find this variable. You see, inventory opened. We want also to know if our mm, menu is in game in game 
menu opened. We want to also know if it's opened or not. So, so that's something important to do in here. On the beginning of the game, we're gonna close it. So we're gonna go in in game menu opened false. So because we start the game, so it's not really open at the moment. And yeah, what else do we want? We want this to actually open when we press the button, right? So straight away we're gonna start from building it like here In if inventory is open then close it if it's not open then open it so the same thing here so you're gonna go with if in game menu opened if it's open then close it else open it yeah if it's open then then close it uh, first of all we have to change the variable in game menu opened is false we're gonna do the same here in game menu opened is true this time this is false okay this is our switch and now we're gonna start building it um, so on the top we're gonna grab our element UI element uh, we're gonna call it P pointer to um, in game menu environment as always per flash UI get UI element and name was in game menu okay the second thing will be UI action and P show G environment P flash action get UI action and was in game menu show and UI action p hide equals g environment p flash get UI action in game menu hide yeah that's all and what else we need UI action manager of course as always oh, not like this. UI action manager and P manager G environment flash UI manager. Okay, that's all we need. As it's equal like here, see. Obviously, yeah, these actions we don't need them actually here. So we can the show action is gonna go to here into this place and hide action will be going in here so not there below okay hide and show can you, we don't need to initialize them if anything is wrong um yeah it's good now if it's uh start here if it's closed then open it on the beginning of the game it's obviously closed so we're gonna open it so if p show so I'm gonna check this if this action actually exists. If there is no file like this for UI action, this is gonna fail and this is gonna crash your engine if you don't check it. It's gonna return some null value. Uh, okay, so p manager. Okay, manager we can check as well. So now p manager uh, start thought action. And the action will be called um, p. Uh, no, it's not called. It's gonna be p show in game menu. Okay, I'm gonna do almost exactly the same stuff here on the top. So copy this. You know, this is not uh, basic stuff. So I think you already. You can handle my speed over here. Uh, P hide hide hide. Okay, in game menu it's, it's cool. It should show and hide the menu, and I'm sure it's gonna work. Um, the th the second thing we want to do, we want to create a event listener for these events when you press the button, resume to game, main menu, or exit. Yeah. So, in order to do this, you have to also obviously add the new file like we did before. You remember main menu events. So we're gonna go. 
and create something very very similar to this I mean very very similar like obviously it's gonna be equal it's <laughs> just different name uh, in game menu events that's it we got our file here first of all we're gonna just go and right away place it in here in so it was in game menu in-game menu events you, I also covered how to do this so. I'm gonna copy all listener in here and paste it I'm gonna just change the name C in-game menu uh, listener and now we're gonna put everything so we got we don't have these ones here um, yeah we don't have these ones here okay so let's go first event we have is resume game second one we have is mine menu and the last one it was I believe just exit simply yeah so now we're gonna catch our events but before we give them some functionality which we are going to do in the next video probably we're going to just attach this event listener like before obviously you can use this listener for all of your um, you know UI elements but um, this is just simpler to understand if you see this okay you uh, are listening no we need not not play where was that it was in game menu events okay so now we have to create this listener actually so we're gonna be C in game menu listener is gonna be called in game menu listener well let's call it like this why not it doesn't have to be called even listener um yeah so now when we open the, the, our uh, in-game menu we want to actually attach yeah when it's all opened we want to attach this listener so we're gonna attach it like uh, p uh, p in-game menu and in-game menu will be calling at it listener and it's gonna be uh in game menu listener and in game menu that's it and we want also to this listener to be removed because we don't need our cpu to to work hard right when we don't need remove even listener and we remove this one and yeah no without without uh, with ampersand as well or without it was no it is because it's it's not a pointer so mm, okay we remove listener and we attach it so in the next video we're gonna actually give functionality to the three buttons of of this and we are going to also um give the labels to it so um, okay so that's pretty much it for this video so see you in the next video I believe so see you later